I'm Polly Bath, and I specialize in behavior, helping schools to navigate, manage, change difficult behavior that interrupts instruction. Today, I'm going to address a question coming out of the high school. The question is, our high school has kids who work really hard and never get into trouble, but it seems like we get so bogged down dealing with the kids who are having problems that these kids feel ignored. How can we encourage them to keep up with the great work? What about the kids that are always doing everything they're supposed to do? You know, we, we, they get good grades, we, we have them, you know, we praise them, but then we're like, wow, we are spending a lot of time trying to help those kids that are struggling. So let's look at it from a different way. We have a tiered system in most of our schools. It's called our multi-tiered system of supports. So you have the middle road, that tier one, where everybody gets access to everything. And we want our kids to be successful. So we're looking for maybe 80 to 85% success rate at tier one. Then we're gonna have our tier two, our kids who need more interventions. And then we're gonna have tier three, our kids who need a lot more interventions. What if you looked at it from the other side as well? Tier one, what if tier two was kids who need uh, enrichment? And then we have tier three, our kids who need a lot more enrichment. See, these are our student council kids. These are our kids who develop our themes for our, our, our pep rallies and our performances. These are our kids who design the environment in our hallways. You know, you want to engage these kids as well. I want to give a shout out to my friends over in Merrimack, New Hampshire, who wrote an article, and it was around their construction of what they call the diamond model. And it was based around that. We also call it the bling model, because it's a diamond. And it was based around not only should we be looking at a tiered system from a triangle perspective, but from a diamond, meaning we're addressing both ends of the multi-tiered system of supports. Brilliant idea. So think of it that way, and you will come up with specific ideas or things you already have running in your school that help those kids to feel like they are a big part of their system, and they are kind of getting back what they're putting into it. Thanks for watching today. If you have comments about this subject, you can put those down below. And if you have questions that you might like to see answered in a future video, put that down below as well.